Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Luca Luceri. I'm an incoming research assistant professor at the University of Southern California. Today, I'm going to present this paper called Contextualizing Internet Memes Across Social Media Platforms in collaboration with Philip Ilyaski and uh, Saraf Joshi. Uh, what is an internet meme? Well, I don't think I need to clarify this in this room, uh, but I really like this definition from Davison, 2012, defining a meme as a piece of culture uh, which gains influence through online transmission, uh, typically with a joke. And uh, these are taken basically from an image or a video that basically uh, represent a stereotypical situation, often ironically. This is an example with Leonardo DiCaprio's movies and some of the stereotypical situation that might be used in, a, in, a, in an internet meme. Uh, why is it important studying, studying, studying memes? Uh, well, let's start from the characteristic and challenges uh, of internet memes. Well, first of all, there's a very complex interplay and interaction between uh, three main components. Uh, the linguistic components, that is the textual content in a meme, the visual component, and uh, common sense, our common sense. Without any of these three components, it's quite difficult, if not impossible, to, to probably understand a meme. Uh, the second one is that memes are succinct, uh, meaning that they rely on, on cultural, historical, and ongoing trends. Therefore, it's quite important to have this understanding to probably understand the meme. And also, it's also difficult to uh, automatically contextualize memes. The third one is that memes are experiential, experiential, uh, meaning that they relate to real life experiences that some of us can have, some others cannot or do not have. And the third one is probably the most challenging one. Memes are fluid and internet memes are always uh, subject to changes, adaptation and transformation across platforms and over time. So the challenge here is that it's, it's quite difficult to keep track of them and uh, keep, track, uh, keep track of these memes automatically. But most importantly, memes can be harmful, hateful, misogynistic, including uh, conspiracy theories, misinformation, and so on and so forth. So it's, it's even more important to keep track of memes, their evolution, their transformation across different channels from uh, fringe communities to mainstream media platforms. So the objective of this work is exactly to contextualize internet memes, and in particular to uh, enhance our understanding of their prevalence, importance, and evolution over time, but also across di diverse media platforms. What we propose to do that? Well, we propose to use AI, and in particular visual transformers, to ground internet memes into the in, uh, that are diffused in the wild so on several platforms on social media platforms to a semantic repository of knowledge that is a, a knowledge graph and in particular what we do is to leverage an existing knowledge graph that is the internet meme knowledge graph imkj which was proposed by uh, philip Philip and other co-authors in, uh, in a recent paper. And basically, this is a, a database that includes memes encyclopedias, uh, memes templates, uh, memes, uh, uh, the, the, the um, original media frame of a meme, uh, the um, instances of these memes diffused on, on several social media platforms. Therefore, it incorporates a visual, textual, and uh, social affordances that can allow us to better contextualize a meme, including uh, their metadata and extracted entities. Therefore, we will leverage IMKJ, and uh, um, we incorporate IMKJ in this pipeline, which basically consists of three steps, starting from the identification of channels and, data and social media platforms from which we can extract data and potentially interesting memes to study. Uh, for uh, this preliminary work, we started with two uh, social media platforms, Reddit and Discord, uh, given them prominence in, the, in social media, in, in internet memes diffusion. Uh, the second step is to extract uh, memes, inter potentially interesting internet memes and candidate memes. Uh, we utilize a variety of tools uh, to automatically extract social media posts, images within this post, and memes within the set of images that we extracted to form a 
data lake consisting of candidate memes. Now, in the third and final step, what we do with these candidate memes is to use a visual transformer to align the um, low dimensional representation of these candidate memes to the memes that we have in our knowledge graph, the IMKJ, and we use the FICE index to, um, to identify this matching and to ground our internet memes to, to the knowledge graph. Therefore, the final output is, uh, is a set of memes of interest that uh, we have knowledge about and we have characteristics from the knowledge graph. So, um, starting uh, fr from uh, from uh, we start the analysis from uh, the uh, channels and, and subreddits, uh, respectively from from Discord and Reddit, where we find uh, most uh, memes, and in particular the uh, subreddit with uh, the highest number of, of memes is our memes, uh, with more than fifty percent of memes our within our set, and the dungeon is the uh, most prominent channel on Discord with with most than fifty percent of, of uh, memes within within this dataset that we collected. Um, we characterize these memes and uh, we try to understand the what are the most prevalent memes within these two platforms. Finding an interesting overlap within Reddit uh, between Reddit and, and Discord, and in particular, we found we, we have found that the top three are in common. And uh, these are Drake Hotline Bling, Press Button Hard Choice, and Afraid to Ask Handy. If you are not aware of these as I was, uh, this is a representation of, of these three uh, most popular memes. Uh, it's, it's interesting to note how the, um, the first column represents our knowledge from the knowledge graph. So these are th this is our anchor point where we connect all the memes that we found in uh, uh, Reddit and Discord. And you can notice that there are variation of these memes, there are adaptation across different platforms, and this is to show the potential of this tool that we are building to keep track of the evolution, not only over time, but across platforms and the variation of memes across platforms. So finally, and this, is, this was not enough because we wanted to find a way to automatically contextualize and characterize these memes. And therefore, this is when this is where the knowledge graph and the IMKJ uh, allows us to get a larger understanding and then more information about memes. And in particular, you can see, probably you cannot see because it's very small, but the idea here, and, and you can refer to the paper for, for more details, but the main idea here is that we can use the entities of this knowledge graph. We can use these entities not only to characterize memes, uh, that we found on Reddit and Discord, but to compare them to existing internet memes that we have already in our knowledge graph. Because this knowledge graph contains not all information about the template, the original media frame, and some other information on, such as the origin of this of this of this meme, uh, the um, description of the meme itself, and. Uh, information from other knowledge graph that I forgot to mention before. We have information from other knowledge graphs such as, such as Wikidata, uh, uh, Image Flip, and Know Your Meme. So it's a very comprehensive overview, and it provides a very comprehensive overview of, of the memes within uh, uh, this, uh, this framework. And, uh, and of course, we can use this data and this information from the knowledge graph to have a, a summary, a, an overview of the, uh, of the meme, providing an enhancing understanding, uh, which can be a mix of automation and manual uh, contribution, where we can use also, and we plan to use language model, large language models to automatically get this summar summary uh, of a, a specific meme, but also of memes within the uh, a broad uh, information ecosystem. That's it. Uh, so we introduced this meme, this, uh, this uh, sorry, <laughs> this uh, uh, work uh, that tries to contextualize internet memes uh, across the media space and trying to uh, keep track of internet memes, trying to understand the, their evolution uh, over time, but across multiple platforms. And this is just a starting point uh, that can open the way for research, not only to expand this knowledge graph, but also to uh, for specific purposes and goals, like the uh, detection of harmful memes and uh, um, conspiracy and misinformation related to memes. Thank you. I'd like to uh, also thank Sorov, which uh, is the main contributor of, of this work, and Philip that gave us uh, a great knowledge about the knowledge graph and IMKJ in particular. Thank you. <laughs>